The Catholic Church has always been known as a church of saints and sinners. There's a great saying of every saint has a past, every sinner has a future. Well, there's always competition with the wild, wild and woolly life up on C Street and all the drink and all the, you know, the gambling and prostitutes were right up here on D Street, just two blocks up. That was the, that was the, the gaming row and the uh, you know, red light district and uh, there was always something going on. And so church was, it was an option. We're back east, not so much. You went to church on Sunday and, and so I'm sure a pastor and a rector of a congregation like this was constantly you know, out fighting the devil of all he's worth and <laughs> try to get the people here in church. <laughs> there is an awful lot of, I guess you'd say, scandalous history in this rowdy old town. You just kind of get beyond it. I think for many, many people, the church here is, it's a place of wonder. It's a place of repose. It's a place of deep spirituality and meaning. Most people didn't even think about churches in the Wild West, and yet every mining camp had them, and they were proud of them when they were well built, and are still existent, still used. It seems though that every little town, no matter how big, sophisticated, or what size it was, one of the first buildings built was the church. And these churches survive, where in many cases the mines didn't. So. You know, we have that vestige of the past that we need to continue to save because it's where our spirit lies. When I was a kid, my, my family was not churched. And I remember uh, coming to Virginia City in 1964, and uh, I was in this church on Easter Sunday of 1965, and I sat in the pew, and I thought, I'm home. And here was this beautiful old organ standing here, not being played. And I, I vowed to myself, I'm going to play that. And I taught myself to play it. And I've been doing so ever since. Instead of running around playing basketball all the time, I was a strange kid who was down making noises at the church, sometimes at odd hours of the night, I was told. So, <laughs> What I feel when I walk into the church like this certainly is the, the presence of God. Uh, mixed with the, the history, the striving, the struggling of, uh, of several generations before me. It was prominent in uh, life of the West, but it's, it served its function and it still does today. <laughs>